everyone, welcome to a, another vlog. It's Monday, start off the week. I'm not gonna lie on a really good note, but I think it helps that it's just blue skies outside. Look at that for some gorgeous weather. It's honestly making me so excited to have a little garden for summer. And then that probably sounds ridiculous because our garden is just really, really not that big at all, but our bifolding doors should completely open up. So I don't know, I just think it'll make the area feel really big and spacious. And we just want to have people over and have barbecues and things like that. But yeah, it's been a really good, positive, productive start to the day. I've been doing a lot of work this morning. I feel like I've got a lot of makeup on for a day where I've not left the house. But if I'm being honest, I needed to film something for a brand on Instagram. And my skin at the moment, I actually got a comment on one of my YouTube videos. The one that I did about coming off the pill and my skin not being great and someone asked if I could give a little update on it and I thought it was probably perfect time today because the reason I feel like I've got a lot of makeup on today is because my skin isn't feeling that great. Now, what I can say is I think I got it to the point and I think I actually also mentioned this in a vlog just before Christmas or just after Christmas. I think I got my skin to a point where I was actually feeling really happy with it and it was obviously working really well because I felt like my skin, I just felt a bit more confident without makeup again because I haven't had that for a while. And people that know me know I am someone who used to feel completely confident walking out the house without makeup on. I never used to bother me. I grew up playing a lot of squash competitions and just generally for competitions and training. I was obviously always very sweaty. I was around a lot of people when I was really sweaty and not wearing a lot of makeup. And I think it always made me feel really confident without makeup. But after I'd experienced my skin not being so good after I came off the pill, I feel like I really lost that confidence, which is kind of sad. And I can't say that I feel like I've like really gained it back yet, but I'm hoping that I am well on the way to doing so. So long story short, I ran out of a couple of skincare products. I was just kind of making do with what I had. Obviously we've been crazy busy at the moment because of moving into this new house. Could be wrong, but I do think that there's probably a correlation between me having run out of some skincare products and my skin not being so good. So I re-bought my Paula's Choice Retinol the other day, but I actually went for the 1% retinol treatment which is actually a reason why I'm wearing so much more makeup today because I've only ever used the 0.3% and I thought let's give it a try and go for the stronger one and I forgot that you have to build up to it. I actually made this mistake the first time I tried retinol. I don't know if you guys have ever had this experience before but you kind of get really confident with it and you're like oh yeah I'll use it one day nothing's happened a couple of days later I'll use it again and then like two days later your whole face starts peeling off and it's so like raw and sensitive and oh my god last night I put some moisturizer on my face and it was like burning I was like I've completely overdone that and I'd only used it once I'd used it twice so basically I've had to put extra makeup on today to hide the fact that all my skin on my face is like peeling off and it's really patchy and horrible. I need to ease back into this, um, especially because it's a stronger one and probably just use it once a week rather than like every three days. So yeah, this is the Paula's Choice 1% Retinol. Obviously I was only using the 0.3%, but yeah, I do really think that this had helped my skin before Christmas when my skin was looking great. And then I was telling Megan about my skin and about just not feeling very confident or happy with it. And she said she swears by the Alpha H Liquid Gold with glycolic acid. So this product, and I got it, bought it from Cult Beauty and I have used it twice. It's really used something for a couple of weeks at least before you can tell the difference. But before Christmas, I was using a similar product with glycolic acid in as well. So I'll let you know how this one goes, but it's meant to be really amazing. I'm actually right now standing in my study wardrobe room. I know I keep calling it that, but I just don't know what else to call it. I think maybe we'll go with study eventually. And the goal for this video, I think by the end of it, I want this to feel like a clear, space where I can just actually work. I've got a desk at the moment, but I don't have a desk chair, so I don't really feel like I can start using the desk yet. So maybe I'll select one with you guys in this video. I want something comfortable, but also like a little bit stylish. I really want to go to the gym now and I really want to swim after as well. I've been loving the swimming and I swam by myself on Saturday evening 
and I just, oh, I get such good endorphins for it. So I think I'm going to really keep up the swimming. I also need to pop to the Apple shop now because I somehow, when I was drunk the other day, have completely lost my AirPods. And my sister was like, you and Elliot were on FaceTime to me with the AirPods in, but they weren't connected. And apparently we were speaking into the AirPods and I woke up the next day and my AirPods were just not in the case and I cannot find them anywhere. And I've realized over the last two weeks that AirPods are like absolutely essential for work when I'm traveling into London being at the gym and everything. So I finally bought myself a new pair of AirPods and I actually went for the new, the newest ones. So I've tried the AirPod Pros because Elliot has them and I just do not like them at all. I don't think they sit well in your ear. I don't like noise cancelling things at all. It makes me feel like not very astute to the world and yeah, I don't really like that. So I went for the updated ones versions of the ones that I had which are the third generation. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'll try and film some clips but I get really awkward filming in there. I think what I'm gonna do are my rehab exercises for my knee and then a walk to get my steps in. finished up and that swim felt I wouldn't say it felt really good I say I felt like I pushed myself really hard so like it was very very difficult but I think that I swam I basically I swam 50 lengths which is 1250 meters and I think that I swam that in less time than I did the last 50 lengths anyway very proud of myself that felt really good I really really pushed myself did all my rehab exercises which are boring <laughs> so boring um beforehand got my steps in i think i've done like nearly 12,000 steps today which is great so i'm feeling like i need food basically but also a massive sense of achievement so i'm back now and we've got a lot of cooking going down this evening we're making two different recipes chicken cornflake chicken with crunchy nut cornflakes this yep. was the recipe that came from one of our friends I am and happy. they're probably fine now they don't need to be powdery right. yeah cool. so he's crushing the cornflakes in one of these compostable bags and then he's going to coat his chicken in this flour mixture as well because we don't have any eggs that aren't off apparently right. and this is my pasta which Elliot is now really jealous of ha 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 um, yeah, you can give it a try and it's got the corn veggie sausages in it's got like lemon zest Broccoli Silken tofu to make the creamy sauce Look at that Right, and this is Elliot's Finished meal. This is the most classic you thing ever just having A plate of chicken with nothing else yeah. li Literally just that that is his dinner Yep. To be fair, it looks good. You've got a few bits that are a bit bare though. I mean, is that room for improvement? No. Basically what's happened is, I put my hat on this when I'm cooking. Um, Annie... He's been wearing his hat like that the last few days. <laughs> Annie has um, come over and filmed the last pieces. Oh, sorry. He said they're the struggly bits. These are the struggly bits. I just struggly. put in here. They were like, what, the, be the pieces were four, way better than this. So, yeah, perfect. But anyway, good morning, guys. So just popping on here to let you know that it might only be half 11, but I'm having my leftover pasta from last night. It is so good. I basically don't have time to eat until about three, four o'clock. And I've just finished a gym session. So I'm having this, even though it's a completely unacceptable time to be eating lunch. So it's actually the next day and we're having a big clear out of my room. Today actually, to be honest, hasn't gone quite to plan. I've had a bit of like rubbish news in my personal life and 
I have this thing that when I don't feel good, I feel like I have to like reset. So Ellie and I just went on a little stroll and I'm feeling a lot better now. And yeah, we're gonna get this room sorted because I feel like organizing, as sad as this sounds, always does actually make me feel a lot better. This water bottle. <laughs> So I'm really obsessed with it. I try and if you're any of my friends watching this, you'll probably know that I try and sell this to people when they come around to my house. Not that I sell them, but like I sell it as a concept to people. It's literally the best thing ever, ever, ever. It holds 820 milliliters of water. It's a keep cool water bottle and has a straw top to it. And it's like the perfect desk at home water bottle. So I tend not to like take out the house. It does also have a lid though, that's like a non-spill lid, but it does look like a toilet brush. And people will comment when they see it that they think that um, it's like, we've just got a toilet brush on the side. So I was just laughing as I was sipping that. If you watch my clearing out vlog, you will see that I love a bit of color coordination in my wardrobe. So we are definitely getting that with color coordinating my new drawers, especially my active wear. So I'm just gonna show you because we're doing a big, clear out currently first drawer sports bras we've got black sports bras but by the way just disclaimer i know i've got a lot but i have cleared out a lot as well the industry i'm in you get sent a lot by brands so these are not all sports bras that i have necessarily purchased myself so i need to i thought i needed to add that in because some people get a bit like wow this is excessive and i know it's excessive but yeah we've got black sports bras in here we've got gray and white sports bras and uh, we've got kind of like burgundy into pinks oranges and yellows we've got handles on these drawers you can as you can tell then this next section actually needs a little bit of tidying up, but we've got greens and blues basically. So these are all little vest tops. So these are mainly long sleeve tops. I wear long sleeve tops a lot at the moment. Then we've got tighter fitting shorts and we've got baggier shorts. And then in this one, we have got leggings. We do have some brighter ones kind of sneaking at the back as well. Over here, I am reluctant to show you my desk yet, even though you can see the legs because it looks really beautiful. It's currently crowded by a pile of things that I'm either gonna be adding to my Depop or giving to the local charity shop. So either today or tomorrow, I'm gonna be uploading a ton of things to my Depop. I've been, I've basically done another a ruthless clear out and I think there's even more that's going to be cleared out at some point but basically things that even though I've loved them at some point I just really don't think I'm going to wear them so for example these lovely girlfriend collective leggings I just never wear this color to be honest as much as it's really beautiful some old Gymshark who remembers this collection some nimble active wear pieces that I just don't wear as often and yeah, I just think sometimes things need a new home as much as I might love them. Basically, as you can see, a lot of stuff. Um, and I'm gonna make this all look beautiful, laid out on there so it can all go to new homes. So I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on this room and I very much need opinions on things. I'm also making a to-do list in my head as I'm filming this bit of a video of things that I need to buy. One of them is a matching basket from Danelle to obviously match the other three. Really happy with the wardrobes, of course, but I still think I need to paint them a different color. I just think they look a better color on camera than they do in real life, but they're very like baby blue in real life and I definitely want them to have a little bit more of a grey tone. This is the rug. I'm in love with it. I think it's beautiful. When this room is clear, I think it's going to look great. I think it really works because we've got a lot of white in this room, like a huge amount of white. So it's actually quite nice to have a bit more of a texture and an interesting patterned sort of rug on the floor. I oh, I just adore it. It's really difficult to find these kind of rugs in more neutral or less kind of classic old school shades. This has actually got a chocolate brown in it. I initially thought it was gonna be a black detail. But I'm really happy with the brown because I think it just adds a lovely warmth. To be honest, I'm kind of toying with the idea of putting a small piece of furniture underneath the windowsill. And I don't know whether I mean more of like a boxy kind of, I don't know, either like a bigger woven box or like a console table. Alternatively, the chest that we've got downstairs. The other thing that I could get, which I quite like the idea of because this is a dressing room, is having a big sort of like poof kind of thing. Something I can sort of like lay clothes or lay outfits out onto, but can also act as extra seating if I do end up having a meeting in here or anything like that. So this is the space I'm talking about. Please ignore the fact that everything just looks so messy and out of place at the moment. As lovely as this looks, I just think it could do with being a bit bigger. So either like a bigger version of that that you could maybe sit on to have under here or like a really snuggly poof or it would honestly almost lend itself to a mini sofa. You can have a think, but all ideas are welcome. 
Then coming around to this section of the room, this is my beautiful desk. I am so happy with this. I think it's gorgeous. It's from Swoon. I will try and link it below for you. And it's mango wood. Here's a little closer look, but it's basically a very, very textured wood. And I just love it. I think it's like a mid-century style. I think the drawers are great. They're actually quite a practical shape. These are actually the knobs that are meant to go on my drawers. I just haven't got around to fitting them on there, but these were actually pretty cheap. I think they're about eight pounds or something for six from B&Q. It's such a shame that the previous owners, for some bizarre reason, had a TV in this room mounted on the wall. And we've really randomly got a socket in the middle of the wall. So yeah, that is just far from ideal because that is actually the only socket over here. If anyone's got any suggestions, for something that can go over the wall. So I was thinking obviously you could put some artwork over it, but I need to be able to access the sockets. So something that would kind of work as a, I don't know, a decorative piece that would cover up the wires and the sockets. Please let me know, because I'm pretty stuck for ideas. This mirror has served us very well from Ikea, but it's just far too big for the space. The long-term solution will be buy a really lovely decorative mirror that's slightly narrower and mount it on the wall. And I think that will look gorgeous potentially in brass or white or something. But yeah, just a little bit smaller. As much as I do love the size of this mirror, I think that the desk has got to be priority in here. And then of course I need a desk chair to be able to start using it. The more time I spend in here, the more I realize that this chest of drawers needs to be a lot bigger. This was originally from Ikea and it's the Hemneys range. And oh, I've had this piece for such a long time, like years and years and years and years. But yeah, I just think it's probably time to get a slightly bigger piece. I know some of you are following our house Instagram page, Annie Elliot Home. And there are a couple of you that actually send in suggestions for things, which is really cool. Like for downstairs, I know the other week I was saying about the bar stools um, and the fact we really don't like them. And someone actually linked me some, which are so, so nice. So when we get around to changing them, they are 100% going to be on the list of options because they're really beautiful sort of blackwood ones with like a rattan woven stool. Um, so yeah, honestly, it's really, really helpful when you do some suggestions. <laughs> So I'm thinking some gorgeous bits of art or yeah, just more kind of decorative bits to bring this room to life. But hopefully now you can see the vibe that I'm going for with this gorgeous rug, the wood, lots of white, some pale blue. Oh, last thing actually, I do want to get some handles on here. In fact, let me know what you guys think. Do you think I should leave them without handles or do you think I should put handles on them? I'm just on the Cult Furniture website, which is where we got Elliot's desk chair from. And I quite like the look of these two in the middle. I actually don't mind this as well. I like the idea of having goldy finishes, but I think that gold is gonna look very yellow. So maybe black or silver. Let me know your thoughts because that is a real possibility. Right, so I think this one's my favorite. The Primrose office chair with armrests in ivory white. Do we think white is impractical though? I don't really know. I think that looks so nice, but yeah. The good thing about cult furniture as well is the things don't take ages to arrive. Like they're usually quite quick at delivering. So that could be a real possibility. So I'm really excited. I can finally tell you that I am gonna be working with Lululemon. A lot of you guessed it, like I said, um, over on Instagram, but Oh, honestly, this is like just a complete dream come true for me. I am over the moon. And yesterday when I went into London and you will have seen the clips, but I didn't explain yesterday just because I, well, I didn't really want to vlog when I was in there. And um, I was invited into the shop to choose clothing that I'm going to be pairing with their footwear. For the first time ever, they are releasing trainers. It's amazing because they release them at the same time as International Women's Day. And they have completely designed these trainers to be based around the female foot. Almost all trainers, if you didn't know, are designed around a male's foot and just made smaller for a female. And this is totally female orientated. But I want to show you the pieces that I got because they're just so lovely and very, very spring. I'd been told the colour of the trainers before I went into Lululemon yesterday. And I honestly went in thinking I was just going to get completely neutral outfits because the trainers have quite a lot of colour in them and I've come out with a whole pastel spring range. The first thing was this beautiful long sleeve top in this blue color, very breathable and perfect in the gym today. The other thing that I got in that color, which is one of my all time favorites, is the Ebb to Street tank top, I think it's called. It's got a built-in sports bra and it's just so perfect for, to be honest, upper body days and leg days, as long as you're not jumping around too much, 
because uh, it doesn't offer like obviously a lot of support because it's just a built-in bra but this is just the most flattering shape ever 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 really makes your shoulders pop and it's got this gorgeous high neck so very excited to wear that the bit i got which i think is going to go really well with the trainers a peach a little peach t-shirt which is the tiniest bit cropped but only so it sits almost at your waistband in a pair of higher waisted leggings so you're not actually going to see any of your stomach these pieces are actually more orientated around running and this is the train to train to be t and i just thought the color was gorgeous i just think these are just so spring aren't they these colors i got some of their socks i don't have any of these longer ones these are the power stride ankle sock i got this hoodie which i've honestly wanted for since it came out which is a quarter zip hoodie i just know i'm gonna end up wearing this pretty much every day when i go to the gym it doesn't ruin your hair when you take it off which is amazing because obviously the zip comes down really low and then lastly i got a new pair of lululemon leggings to add to my collection um, and these are more of a running legging i tried on a lot and these are the ones that fitted me the best or were the most flattering on me and i love the material but these are the base base pace high rise tight in 25 inch because i'm only five foot four yeah, I'm going to wrap the video up here because I feel like I've genuinely been speaking at you guys for, for the best part of an hour now. But yes, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you do want to stick around. There will be another video on Sunday and I'll see you then. Bye.